Officer Ramos was in the driver's seat, and Officer Liu was in the front passenger seat beside him. According to witness statements, the suspect, who has been identified as 28-year-old Ismail Brins Brinsley, walked up to the police car. He took a shooting stance on the passenger side and fired the weapon, his weapon several times through the front passenger window, striking both officers in the head. Officer Lou and Officer Ramos never had the opportunity to draw their weapons. They may never have actually even seen their assailant, their murderer. Other officers who were also assigned to the CIV post immediately pursued Brinsley southbound on Tompkins Avenue. Brinsley then turned west, westbound on Myrtle Avenue and fled into the Myrtle Avenue and Willoughby Street, the G train subway station. He proceeded down the stairs onto the westbound subway platform. While on the platform, Brinsley shot himself in the head, took his own life. A silver semi-automatic Taurus firearm was recovered on the subway platform near the suspect's body. Officers Lou and Ramos were transported here to Woodhill, Woodhull Hospital. Despite every effort to save their lives, both officers tragically succumbed to their injuries. On behalf of the New York City Police Department, I extend my deepest condolences to Lou and the Ramos families and the families within the NYPD. Both officers paid the ultimate sacrifice today while protecting the communities they serve. New York City Police Commissioner William Bratton there confirming uh, the deaths of two P uh, New York City police officers shot in the head in their patrol car earlier on in the day. That was on Saturday. Uh, they have been named and a suspect has also been named, 28-year-old Ismail Brinsley, who took his own life afterwards. We will uh, get more information as that comes in on the details about that. Uh, but in the, in the meantime, let's bring you some other news.